In this video, I'm gonna talk about a project that I worked on almost a year ago, which was spray painting a Little Tykes kids table. And I'm going to show you what that table looks like today and talk about some of the things that if I had a, if I had a time machine, I would go back and do a little bit differently. So stay tuned. I will have timestamps in the description below if you wanna go ahead and jump to a certain part of the video and skip my ramblings. But as always, if you listen to my rambling, I do appreciate it. So before I show you the table, I do wanna talk about a few factors that I think went into the table being in the condition that it is in today. One, it has been exposed to the elements for the entire year. I do not think that at any point we had this under an enclosure or anything like that for an extended period of time. Another main point I would bring out is that I have three children under three, so these kids have crawled on it, they've played on it, and this table has seen a fair amount of wear in that time as well. Uh, and we also moved between states. So there was a period of time where this was crammed into a moving truck and might have gotten scuffed up a little bit. So when I show you the table, just know that it has seen some wear. Here it is. And I wanna be very clear, I am not pointing fingers at Rust-Oleum on this. I think that a lot of this was user error and things that I could have improved on on my end. And I'll talk about those in a minute, but you can see the top has really taken quite the beating. The black base has actually held up very well, and I think that might be because of the texture um, that came with it naturally, but the top, as you can see, has really taken some abuse. Well, I had a time machine, and I could go back in time a year, and I could tell past Ethan something to do differently, what would I tell him? Well, first, if I had a time machine, I would not be wasting it on this. I would be telling past Ethan to go buy Bitcoin. I would not be, I would not be doing, using my one time machine trip on how to paint this table, it's just not worth it. But in all seriousness, the first thing I would do is actually sand the top down better. I know in the video that I made about a year ago, I did mention uh, that we sanded it down, but it seems like we should have sanded it down more to let that paint get a very good grip into the table itself. So the second thing that I wish I could tell past Ethan is I would tell him that the elements will take a toll on anything you put outside. Whether that is sealed with some sort of polyurethane coating, whether that is something that is painted with rust spray paint, it does not matter. Just like your roof might need to be replaced every 15, 30 years, something like that. Whatever you put outside, the sun, the rain, the snow, it's all going to break it down over time. So if at all possible, I would put this table, if I had to do it over again, I would put it under some sort of covered porch, inside a house, something like that, to keep it protected from the elements. The third thing I would suggest is maybe do some extra clear coat to make sure that the surface is protected well. Um, once again, I don't think there's a problem with the paint. I just think that over time and then being exposed to the elements and children, this is just you know, part of life, right? So if I were to do it over again, I would definitely put on more coats of clear coat to try to give it more long lasting protection. Even if I did have it under an awning or something like that, that would protect it from the elements. I think the fourth thing I would tell myself is actually to temper your expectations. Because if you're making something that children are going to play with, over time, that thing is going to see damage. It's going to see wear from being played with. So in my head, I kind of expected it to be pristine after a year, right? And basically be like it was just plastic that was colored that way. So I would temper my expectations and I would assume going into this that over time, as it's played with, it's just going to show wear. Also, I've never forgotten this comment. There was someone on the original video that made the comment of, well, why don't you just buy a table that's the color you want? I mean, that's a really good point. So that might be something to consider as well. If you're looking for something that's pristine and you wanna keep it outside, it might be best just to go ahead and buy a table that you want. That might not be what you wanna hear, that might not be what you came to the video to hear, but that is the truth. That's the video, and as always, I will pander for likes and subscriptions and comments and all the YouTube works. My channel really defies the YouTube algorithm a little bit, and I make videos on things that either I personally am working on at the time or questions that I receive from viewers, so I'm not really, you know, channelized the way the algorithm likes. So anything you can do to help me is greatly appreciated. Uh, we're actually closing in on a thousand subscribers, which is amazing. So I'm very excited for that. Was not quite sure we would get there, but I'm, you know, I'm all for it. Let's go. Uh, but as always, if you like the content, let me know. If you don't like the content, let me know that too. 
and I will, uh, you know, modify what I do. And if you leave that comment politely, I might even respond to it um, if you don't like the content. So all that to say, thanks for tuning in and I'll talk to you next time.